Well, I think it's got to be said that deflation risk in the Eurozone really does appear to be uh, even more severe than it appeared uh, just a few months ago. Of course, uh, we have had uh, the oil price uh, coming down uh, very drastically, something that wasn't anticipated by the market uh, uh, six or so months ago. So this will uh, take uh, inflation data perhaps potentially a notch or two uh, lower uh, than the market had been anticipating just you know, really very recently. That said, uh, the consumer, of course, will benefit from uh, lower oil prices, lower food prices as well in Europe. And, and this should give it a boost to growth. So uh, it, it should be that the deflationary impact of lower oil, lower food prices should be temporary. Uh, but even so, over the next few months, uh, it is likely to be a battle uh, from central banks such as the ECB uh, to really fight that deflationary risk. Well, again, as long as we have uh, weak uh, oil prices, it's likely that the commodity uh, uh, currencies will certainly be on the back foot. I mean, in terms of uh, oil producers, Canada, Norway, uh, certainly uh, these ones will retain a, a decent correlation with oil. But even uh, the Australian dollar retains a, a good correlation uh, with oil, not because it exports that much oil, but of course it exports a lot of coal, which is often seen as a substitute uh, for oil. So I think it's quite likely that these uh, uh, commodities uh, currencies will remain on, on the back foot now just as weaker oil is a benefit for consumers everywhere it is really a, a, a negative for the producing nations and nations in terms of, of revenue in terms of in employment and in terms of growth so uh, I think these uh, currencies will remain relatively weak Canada will be interesting because it will uh, benefit from uh, a stronger US economy although it should see uh, overall growth reduced a little bit because of the, the oil impact uh, but uh, stronger growth in, in Canada should come through at the end of the year and that could potentially negate some of the present weakness of the Canadian dollar. Well, uh, I think if you look at, uh, at surveys uh, from market economists and their expectations for uh, the euro just a month or so ago, uh, the consensus for the end of 2015 was 118 and already uh, we're below 120. So in that context, uh, the, the, the move is a surprise. However, the direction of the move is not. I think for some time people had been anticipating that euro dollar uh, would push down. So the direction on a move, but the pace at which it has gone there certainly has been.